in this video I want to show you how to create custom menu how to edit your block footer and top navigation and how to edit your landing page footer okay block footer and top navigation block footer is means this one here footer information top navigation simply means this one there are two top navigations okay top navigation one and this one is top navigation two okay top navigation one is at the very top 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 navigation two is located here okay and this is the footer so we're going to take a look at how to custom create custom menu edit your block footer and top navigation and also your landing page footer okay let's log in to your WordPress admin area to create custom menus you simply go to appearance and click menus okay so what what are menus exactly well menus are uh, a way to customize your how you want your your footer to look like or your top navigation to look like and we use menus to help us do that okay so to create a new menu you just click the plus sign over here okay so you enter your menu name let's just make this menu name test menu one click create menu okay now that you have created your menu hold on let it let this page load up a little bit okay once you have created your uh, test menu one you can customize uh, how you want your menu to look like so we are we're going to take a look at team locations later for now let's take a look at custom links pages and categories so you can add uh, whatever links you want to your test menu one right you can add whatever links you want let's say this one is test menu is at the very top here you can add whatever links you want or whatever pages or categories you want so for example if I want to add the test page I add click add to menu okay so it shows up here under the test menu one if I want to add uh, the uncategorized category I click add to menu okay shows up here so this is the categories pages let's say I want to create a custom link and I want to link that to my blog for example and I'm going to type in at least block one click add to menu okay so it shows up here okay this is a custom link this is the link to my category and categorize and this is the link to my page called test okay once I have done that I just click I can rearrange how I want to show up so if I for example if I want to uh, let values block one show on on the very at the very top okay it's going to show up uh, to the left number one so if I want to rearrange, for example, if I want to make the test page, the test link at the uh, the number one link right here at the very far left link, I just put it uh, in order number one. But for now, I want to put my block link to my block at the very top or at the very far left. So I just click save menu. OK. okay once I've created the menu the menu test menu one which contains links to where is well my blog which contains links to the the test page and the uncategorized category page the next thing is I have to specify uh, I have to click the team locations here to specify which area okay which area the top navigation one the top navigation two or the footer okay which area which one do I want to show this test menu okay let's try 
top navigation one is test menu one and footer I want I also want to test menu one let's just leave top navigation two and member menu and non member menu uh, aside first let's talk about top navigation one and footer menu so if I click save here and I hit refresh it's going to show up here top navigation one is this one okay well it's block one test and categorized and all the links are clickable going to this the link is clickable going to my blog this is to the test page and to, this is to the uncategorized uh, category page so this is the top navigation one now let's take a look at the footer the footer is also the same okay well is block test uncategorized well is block test uncategorized right if I move this around let's say like this I hit save menu okay and then I hit refresh here see test is moved around test becomes a number one link and really my block is bec uh, becomes a number two link same thing for the footer okay now let's talk take a look about top navigation too which is this area here okay let's say I want to use the same menu for top navigation too I just click save and I hit refresh there you go the same menu that is for that is on top of top navigation one is also showing up as the menu for top navigation two because I've specified that top navigation one is going to show the test menu one and top navigation two is also going to show the top menu one the member menu and non member menu is uh, for the membership site settings so we are not going to talk about that uh, in this video okay now you may be wondering how do you actually uh, okay test well is block and then categorize is for the is for, uh, from the custom menu but what about this one what about this one the copyright 2010 weight loss well you can edit this you can also edit this quite easily you just need to go to the profit steam site options and then you go down to the area where it says copyright text whatever is entered here is shown here see copyright 2010 weight loss okay copyright 2010 weight loss weight loss is this is a HTML syntax uh, block URL simply means that it's linking to your uh, to this block okay weight loss means uh, the block name here is uh, because my blocks name is weight loss is showing up here okay of course you can change to whatever you want for example I can do this and I hit save changes okay give it a moment to load okay I'm going to refresh this page there you go okay so whatever you want to put here whatever you put here is going to show up here okay next I want to show you how you can customize your landing page footer okay so you go to the page that you want to edit your landing page that you want to edit and you click on the page settings and you scroll down to the area where it says custom top navigation and custom footer navigation okay so for the custom top navigation is the area right below the header so for example if you want currently it's set as remove navigation if I choose the test menu one which I have just created under menus if I choose this test menu one and footer navigation I also choose test menu one and I click done and I click update ok 
okay I hit refresh here oops not refresh this one that's the blog page let's go to view page open new tab let's see how this looks like there you go this is the custom menu that we have just created test values block on categorize and if you scroll down test values block on categorize okay again this one the weight loss is just is the same thing you whatever you edit here is going to show up here okay it's not showing up really moly as block because just now uh, I have paused the video and I changed back to the default settings so it's showing the default settings as copyright 2010 weight loss but whatever you enter here is going to show up here just like on a regular blog page okay so this is landing page you can customize uh, your footer link and also the top navigation link by going to page settings and then just use the custom top navigation and custom footer navigation if you don't want to use any nav top navigation just choose remove navigation same thing for footer if you don't want to have any uh, custom footer navigation just uh, choose remove navigation or you can choose the block setting block setting is whatever you set up you set up here under menus right here under menus top navigation one top navigation two and so on okay so it's pretty much straightforward I'm just going to re set as remove navigation I click done and then update okay let's refresh this page this should be gone and also the footer area see this is gone the top menu is gone and so is the footer area this is still here is because of the settings right here okay now if you want to remove this one powered by get profits fast powered by profits team from from get profits fast uh, on your landing page or and also on your blog powered by profits team from get profits fast you can do that you just need to scroll down a bit more till to till the very end actually and you check this box check this check this box to remove link back to our site okay I click save changes now I hit refresh here and also refresh here let's see see it's gone the the link back to our site is gone and this is the block link back to our site is also gone okay but we I uh, we highly recommend that you use your affiliate link uh, if you don't have an affiliate link click here to sign up for an affiliate link for our, for our affiliate program because we pay lifetime, lifetime commissions for all products in the under the get profits fast brands okay so you just promote one time and you get lifetime commissions and uh, so we highly recommend that you leave this link intact so that you can uh, earn commissions lifetime commissions just by uh, if your visitor clicks on on the link and buys just one of our products and you get credit credited for commissions but if you do but if for some reason you don't want just check this box and hit save changes